All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to continue a time lapse tutorial I did about this time last year on how to create a seamless time lapse with your GoPro camera and have a slide type effect. Um, simple and easy without any expensive tools. Just you and your camera and um, some kind of mount. Uh, it's easy to do inside GoPro's new Studio 2.0. You can do the entire time lapse with the slide effect and everything, um, as you see right here. Uh, so, what I'm going to show you how to do. So, let's start from scratch. Do a new project. First thing we need to do is import in our pictures. Good thing about the GoPro Studio is when you import in these pictures, um, it's going to automatically, as you'll see, it'll automatically build it into a video file already for you. Um, Alright, so here it is. So you see it's in the 12 megapixel format. You go to our advanced settings, high quality. We're going to speed it up just so we can add a little motion blur to make it a little smoother. If you want to remove fisheye, you can. We'll leave it on for this. Uh, once you do that, that's pretty much all you need to do here. Just go ahead and add it to the conversion list and uh, convert and let it roll. So we'll let that convert and I'll get right back with you. Alright guys, that's almost done. So I just want to come back in and just, just remind you that whenever you are making a time lapse, you need 30 pictures uh, for every one second of video if you're rendering out in 30 frames. So whatever frame rate you're going to use, that's how many pictures you need per second. So just keep that in mind. Alright, so now we'll carry this into step two. We don't need a template. Um, see right here? We'll take our uh, our video and what we'll do is we will bring this into our timeline at the bottom. All right. So once we bring this into the timeline, first things first, I'll come over here and I'm going to slow this down to 50%. Um, so now I'm back to the original 30 frames uh, per second um, speed that I was wanting and I still have my motion blur going on. Alright, so we'll come into here. As you see, here's our basic... Uh, time lapse with no slider effect. So the first thing we'll need to do is we'll need to come over here to our zoom and we'll need to uh, zoom this in a way we want the, our edges, we want our picture edges to be zoomed in a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. We don't really lose any quality there. Now, the, now we'll come over here, move this to the beginning of our video and we need to add in a keyframe. This is where the magic happens, right here. We'll take our horizontal setting and move it whichever side you want it to start with. Keep an eye on the edge, right over here. You want that to match up right on the edge. And then put it wherever you'd like it. Then move it to the end of the video or wherever you want the slide to start, stop, change, whatever. We'll do the same thing. Well, we need to add in a keyframe. Then we'll do the same thing the other way. Okay. So once we do that, as you'll see, you'll have a slight subtle slide effect inside your video to give you that nice high quality slider type look. And of course, from there, you can go in and add your presets. You can change your. Uh, color balance or whatever you need to inside the GoPro Studio 2.0 um, itself. You need to add a title, audio, whatever you need to do, you can do that right here. Just bring it in here and then drop it in here. And of course, render it out through the share feature. They give you some presets uh, that you can use or you can do a custom uh, preset. So. Hope that helps someone, and uh, let's get out and make some time lapses, and let's go have a good time with our uh, with our cameras. Hey, y'all have a good one.